I use Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I use Instagram and Facebook. Facebook and Twitter sometimes. Twitter and Instagram. Facebook, uh, Snapchat, and Twitter mostly. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Social media platforms I use would be uh, stuff like YouTube and Vimeo because just ones that I can watch videos on. I uh, usually to see what's trending online or to keep in touch with friends or family. Mainly to stay in contact with people that I've met while traveling. I would put videos uh, and some of my content up on uh, social media like Vimeo and YouTube are big ones. I think YouTube's good for a lot of people who can just watch them and Vimeo is good because other people who do what I do, like filmmaking, can see it and that's just a good way, a good platform. So I think that's really good that what social media can do nowadays. So what can social media be used for nowadays? Of the 7.5 billion people on Earth, 3 billion have internet access and 2 billion are active on social media. Due to these high numbers, big companies are constantly targeting social media sites such as Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. But what about people in the creative industries? How are they using this massive market to expand on their talents? We talked to student and content creator Stacey Dickey about her experiences with social media. I would use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and YouTube as my social media. So far for YouTube, um, I used to do a vlog last year um, purely so I could practice some camera techniques and just use myself. Um, I would also post um, any pieces of content I would make and put it onto my uh, YouTube page or my Facebook page. From the first YouTube video that I posted to the more recent one, um, you can see a dramatic change in um, my editing techniques, how I would set up camera, lighting, sound, um, it's completely different. I would say that has been like a real positive um, to take on to further my work, especially in this world where we're saturated with people who are wanting to pursue careers in the media. Um, having a social media presence and being very active on it is very important. If you're constantly posting up at the right times, at the peak times, you get a good audience and a good feedback. Radio presenter for Carrick Fergus FM, David McGuinness, talked to us about how important it is as a creator to engage with audiences and how to stand out in the industry. I do a community radio station called Carrick Fergus FM. It's a restricted service license station, so it only runs certain times of the year. Carrick Fergus FM, 107.6, broadcasting live from the Decorsi Centre. I use Facebook, Twitter, and would use those on a very daily basis. It's the best way, in my opinion, to share your content, whether you be radio, film, photographer, anything. It's the only way for you to share your content is to push it on Facebook, is to get it on Twitter and using websites such as YouTube and Vimeo, particularly with Vimeo, and just to keep pushing it. It's the only way that you'll be spotted, you'll be sort of scoped out. Get in touch Facebook, Twitter, and use your hashtags. Let us know what you want here between now and five o'clock. Coming up, we have all the best from the 1980s, 1990s, the noughties, and today. Here's a bit of this though. If you create a relationship with your audience, they will follow you to the moon and back. Especially on radio, these people that are listening are making sure that your show stays on the air. I mean, if people weren't listening to me on the radio, I wouldn't be on the radio right now. Kieran Burke, the head of the networking website Hive, spoke to us over Skype about how beneficial promoting yourself is and how the job market has grown around social media and the internet. So we launched Hive uh, about a year and a half ago. The kind of premise behind it was uh, initially like a LinkedIn for the creative industries. The way you apply for jobs these days is um, is with links essentially, um, because your your CV is your online you. Being able to show that desire to kind of make stuff and engage with a community is, is really important. Uh, like companies are really craving digital natives. Um, and that's like a massive advantage for new graduates coming out um, because they have more technical skills than people say four, five, six years older than them um, because they've kind of grown up with social media and social media these days quite requires like basic editing, filtering, like think of how kind of Instagram evolves or um, I mean a text you might put it on a Snapchat or something like that. They're not the natural little things that would have been with graduates maybe, yeah, as I said, six, seven years ago. And for kind of companies that are of a mature age, having someone coming in who can look after not only social media, but being able to kind of make content, produce content is really invaluable. For people in the creative industry, social media can mean a whole career. Advertising your talents can secure you a job, can further an existing profession or can create a whole new career on sites such as YouTube and Instagram. Social media is incredibly beneficial in getting your content out there, promoting yourself and creating an audience. Networking has moved online, so why don't you?